told you the lines are backed up. Man, they backed up wrap around here to 7th Street, all the way going over to Houston Avenue. We are live on the Real Talk Files. Hilton Kelly doing it again. They're out of gumbo. Now they're giving out the links. Links and Boudin, if I'm not mistaken. They're giving out links and Boudin now. Now you got the Boudin coming out there. So if you just turn it on, we're over here at Keller's Kitchen. At Keller's Kitchen, they have a lot of cars out here. They're giving out gas cards, gas cards and food. Gas cards and food, doing some of the links and booting out there right now. You see, you, you, you see Lynn Freeman, he over there like a busy bee, running around, everybody talking to everybody. Running everywhere and talking to everybody. What's going on now? What's going on? I see my boy Antonio just pulled up on the back side over here. And trying good, good over uh, the original PA politics, PA politics one. Here we go. We got Hilton Kelly about to go on and give him, give us this, uh, his breakdown of what's going on. What's going on? What's going Everybody on, HK? How you doing? Kelly's Kitchen, right over here. We, what we're doing is giving back to the community. Look here. We love y'all. We care about y'all. Look, and we're all in this COVID-19 thing together. Okay. We know we got a lot going on when it comes to racial issues, police brutality. So it's a lot of stress. And what we wanted to do as a community uh, 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 business in our area, we wanted to give back to our community because, number one, we know you're stressed. We want to say we love you, we care, and we are all in this together, y'all. So know that we're, we're doing our best to try to get you out of your silos so we can break that monotony of being at home, number one. But uh, we're out here giving away gumbo. All the gumbo is gone. No sooner than we start giving away, we give away 130 bowls. Uh, now we're giving away uh, uh, Zumo sausage sandwiches. And we got some boudin we're going to be giving away after that. And then it's going to be next week. After everything is gone this week, we're going to do the same thing again. June 13th and also, I mean, June 20th. Today is June 13th. June 20th, next Saturday. And then the following Saturday after that, which will be... June 27th, we're going to do it again. That'll be the last day of this week that we're going to do it, y'all. So look here. If you didn't make it this week, come on out. Next week, get in line early. I mean, we have people, did it starts at 12, and we have people out here at 8 o'clock. And uh, they're very appreciative that they did come out and they were able to get that gumbo because the gumbo is really good. Kelly Kitchen gumbo, Ms. L. Marie Kelly do her thing. I ain't going to lie. She throw down. That's all I can tell y'all. So be out here next week. When the gumbo is coming out the pot, ready to go. Love y'all. God bless. Stay strong. We're in this together. All right? Yeah, here, Kelly, show the appreciation doing it for the citizens, man. Show the appreciation doing it for the people. And, you know, we, we, we appreciate everything you're doing. We appreciate you and Valero. And once again, hey, thank you for all that you do for the community. Oh, man, I much appreciate that. And that means a lot to me coming from the community, coming from yourself. Man, look, we all love PA, and it's up to us to be all in this together to make our community where we can and get those people to give back to our area who, who have done business here for years. That's what we're trying to do, y'all. So we're all in this together. Let's work together. Amen. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Take it easy, sir. Salute out to you. All right. God, nah, look, no, I'm giving. I ain't tell you, I'm giving. And, I, and also, we got the legendary Reginald right. Trainer out what's here. What's going on? What's going uh, on? All of hey, just find. Hey, you go ahead and tell us what's on your head right there. What's that thing on your head? It's a brother head. Man. <laughs> it's a brother head. Don't know what's that doing. I'm getting people. Uh, uh, the B1. What's the saying go? If you want the B1, ask one. B1, ask one. There you go. There you go. Appreciate. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice little crowd. And you have uh, Benzo over there. Benzo the same. Hey, Benzo, you, you feel like coming on and trying to give us a few little notes? Yeah, I got mine last week. That's right in there. Yeah. Yeah, I got mine last Yeah, yeah, for sure. Benzo, what's going on there, brother? You're on here live on the Real Talk Files. Okay. Uh, if you can, just give us a little bit about yourself and tell us about your, your singing career, making the band, and Jazzy Faye, brother. Okay, uh, well, to those that's not familiar with me, my name is Benjamin Thomas, uh, better known as Benzo. Uh, native of Port Arthur. Uh, in 2007, uh, I went and did an audition for making the band. Uh, made Come it to on, the Marie. top 50 in the world. 
Uh, from there, I learned a lot. I signed a Diddy uh, previously from there for seven years. And uh, then after, after being signed with that, I learned a lot of uh, knowledge on the music industry and everything. Uh, then I went on to uh, do a deal with Jazzy Faye. Uh, single and everything. Uh, so Come now uh, I'm writing, write a lot of records, a lot of records that you guys hear on the radio, Billboard records. You know, uh, I'm behind pinning those records. So, you know, that's that's what I'm here for, man. You know, just to spread the love through music. Okay, T tell us what's the name of your uh, album, right quick, brother. What's the name of your album that's out right now? Oh uh, well, or if you have an album out. Yeah, yeah, right now I don't have an album out. I have a single that's about to come out called Call On. Uh, me and Mr. Kelly, we have a uh, album that we produce called Life of Love. Right, uh, right. Also a single uh, with Scotty ATL uh, called uh, Family. A uh, single with Jazzy Faye called Jimi Hendrix Rock Star. Uh, I mean, it's a, if you Google uh, Benjamin Thomas Benzo, you can pretty much find everything uh, musically on there. Right, I sure do appreciate it. I, I got my producer over here, the Real Talk Files. He's trying to get Miss Kelly on over here. I appreciate everything. Yes, we'll appreciate keep a look you, out bro. for you. Appreciate everything. I'm glad you you're coming back down here and doing for the community what you're doing. Come on, come on, Marie. Come on, both of you guys. Come on. Oh, no, no. Okay, you want to go? Marie, how you doing? I'm good. How okay, you? and what, what's happening with us today? We doing gumbo links know, and uh, boudin. I knew, I knew you was going and, to say one. And, and, and what is the cause? The cause is just to uh, give back to the community. And, 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 and are y'all having fun doing this? We having a great time. <laughs> and and what, 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 what's on us? Since we don't have any more gumbo, what we have now? We have links and boudin. Okay, how long we going to have that? Until it runs out? Until it runs out. Okay. That's going to be it. And then you come back next Saturday at 12 o'clock, it'll be the same thing. And after that, do we have another day we coming? We have another Saturday. The last Saturday is the 27th, and that's going to be it. Okay. We're going to be the dead eye for it. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Marie. Thank you so much. Come on. I was joking. I was joking. No, I said come on. <laughs> I was joking. I don't want to do it. Anyway, check, check this out, guys. I had, I, had, I, had to put, I had to put my two people in. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Say, uh, again, no, 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 that's what, no, no, that's no. I'm sorry. Man. But anyway, check this out, guys. Check this out. I'm so, I'm so appreciative to, uh, to, I'm so appreciative to Benzo. He came on and gave us a, 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 a full interview of, of his next album. And we're going to try to promote that on the Real Talk Files. That's going to be our next thing we're going to do. We're going to be promoting if we can, but we have to get a lot of other little business taken care of before we can get, get to where that, but it will be taken care of. Real talk, it will be taken care of. Thank you so, and look, thank, thank y'all for, 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 for listening to our, uh, our guests that we have coming on. And, and I got, I, I got, and, and we got, and, and look, and uh, one of my lifelong friends, he came and he's a big supporter too. I'm trying to him on in, as an interviewer to interview with the program. He told me, he, all right, yeah, he told us he was going to come in, come on Friday. And, uh, but uh, he, he's, he, he, he's going to call soon. Okay, I mean, you got to call me. You got, you're my Facebook friend. You just come, you come, yeah. Hey, hey, cat. That that go catch. She 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 get. Uh, I'm interviewing you. You on you on Facebook Live right now. That's cat. She said she came through, and she and, and, and she's always she's a big supporter of us too. I appreciate you, cat. Yeah. She she all right. She was sick this week, but don't tell nobody. She wasn't feeling good, but she all right. Yeah, she all right now. She's beautiful now. Yeah yeah. Yeah, my, yeah, 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 hey, hey. What's going on? We back here getting here on the real talk files. You, 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 you dog on no Lynn Freeman. He running around everywhere. He like a busy bee. He like a busy bee. He knows everybody. Want to talk to everybody? Hey, if I didn't know it, I think this is his event going on out here. But it's not his. It's Kilby Keller's. But but, but Lynn Freeman running around like everybody. So you know everything going on right now. You see the cars is backed up. Well, you can't see it's backed up here because it's wrapping around Seventh Street. Everything's going on. So do appreciate everything Hilton Kelly and uh, you know his little partnership with Valero doing. Everybody getting their thing on out here. Everybody having fun. It's a nice little, nice little event out here. It's pretty cool. You know you really 
really ain't. It's about, there's not really people getting out, but you have to let people, you know, right to the car. So if you ain't out here, come on out here. They're out of gumbo. They're giving out the links and booty and sandwiches. And I think they also do the, uh, the gas card. So they got some gas cars coming on out here. If you're not doing the thing, get in the line. It's over towards the Houston Avenue side. So, uh, Come on out here. And yeah, we had a good special guest with Benzo. Benzo out here doing his doggone thing and he living this life. He doing music with Jazzy Faye. Uh, rock star. I really liked the dad when he was on uh, making the band. So, you know, Benzo out here trying to do his thing and, you know, enjoying himself. So it's glad to see him out here. So, uh, everybody come on out here. Check everything out. We had Hilton Kelly. We had his wife, Marie Kelly, on out here. We had Benzo. Everything is on the up and up. It's good. Again, Kelly's Kitchen on 6th and Austin. Yeah, some people the Valero taking pictures of the people going through. So um, come on out here. This is Real Talk Files. CEO Lynn Bruce Freeman. I am his help for Super Dave. I'm helping out Mr. Freeman on the Real Talk Files. So, uh, and we're going to try to get Reginald Train out here. We try to get Reginald Train on one of these shows out here. Talking with him and stuff like that. We try to get him. I was supposed to do it Friday, but um, I had some stuff coming up. I thought I was going to have to come in. He was calling me to come in to work Friday, so um, I was unsure if they were going to do it so I couldn't do it Friday. So hopefully we'll try to have a, uh, another guest appearance coming on out here. Benzo, you want to say something else going on here right now again? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you know, we just killing a little dead time right there okay. right then over here doing so. So, I got Big Dog calling right now. Okay, Jazzy Faye. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Um, I wish if you'd have had on the video, <laughs> I would have yeah, 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 FaceTime. Yeah. I'll get back with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I really liked it. I really liked the song Rockstar. That's the one kind of jumped out on the meal with that and is that the one with jazzy Faye, right yeah yeah okay tell me how did well tell us the real talk uh the real talk family uh -huh. how did you hook up with jazzy Faye? how did that happen oh uh, well first of all first i was with pimpsy okay you know? uh so me and pimp was talking one day we was in the studio and he told me that the style of music that i did he couldn't, you know, he sang, right, right. but he wasn't an R&B guy. Yeah, you are R&B guy, he he's more of a uh, country rap tune. Country rap right. tune, so he more told me, say, man, right, uh, right. you either need to get with CeeLo Green, Jazzy Faye, or uh, it was one other person. Right, I got It was Andre you. 3000, CeeLo, or Jazzy Faye. Right. You know, and we knew that Andre 3000 wasn't into working with people. Right, okay. Uh, we reached out to CeeLo, and CeeLo said the same thing. He yeah. was working on his artistry. Right, he already have a, a good people. stable, okay. So he called Jazzy Faye, and me and Jazzy Faye talked and everything, and he said, sure. He said, man, once you get to Atlanta, just let me know when you're in Atlanta. Right, Unfortunately, right. Pimp C had died. Yeah, yeah. And once Pimp died, a lot of relationships that we had yeah. fell off. Right, exactly. You know, when Pimp was alive, everybody had they with you, they riding with you once he died. Right, gone. yeah. Don't kill okay, him. yeah, exactly. So uh, now, we were in a uh, sports bar in Atlanta. I seen Jazzy Faye. Uh, I didn't pay him no mind on that, man. At this time, I didn't kill him. Yeah, you know? right, right, so, right, uh, right, right. We took a picture, and when we took the picture, he said, man, I know you from somewhere. Yeah. You know, so I blew it off and said, yeah, man, you know, I'm from Port Arthur. And when we say Port Arthur, yeah. he said, what's your name? I said, Benzo. He said, man, I remember you. You the guy that Pimp C put on the phone. Right. He said, you was young then. I said, yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. from there, uh, like I said, we took a picture. I blew him off, and he took my phone, put my number in his phone. He said, call me, man. You need anything yeah and uh one day i called him and, and from now man it's been just history uh you know we just been working so so shout out to pimp man pimp and put that together yeah absolutely all right peter the pimp all yes, right peter all right peter the pimp shout out to ugk as a group yes, shout sir. out to bun yes, b sir. continuing on the legacy and so let me go ahead did this straight so you so you me on Pimp C's label group would have kind of been like Danny Boy on Death Row, huh? Pretty it, much, yeah. It didn't really match pretty up, much, so to speak, much, since Death Row was more the hardcore. Danny Boy was the R&B uh, yeah. Death Row, so it kind of puts you in like a little awkward position. And yeah, also, yeah, I and think I want to... He couldn't work with right. you. Right, and I think they had a situation with uh, 50 Cent and G-Union with Olivia. They didn't really know how to market her because yeah. she was more of a... 
you know, R&B. R&B, and her style would have been more with uh, Murder, Inc., because they, they had the yeah, women yeah, 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 they yeah. could do, you know, more of the hardcore uh, female artist R&B slash gangster rap yeah. on that. So, okay, so so I know I'm kind of jumping everywhere, nah. but how do we... Uh, how did you get on Bad Boy? Did you just put out making the band? Well, not Bad Boy records, but making the band, or if that's the same thing. You know, confuse well, uh, me if I'm just making up some stuff. Once again, uh, Pimp and my uncle Titus. Okay. Titus Thomas. Titus was okay. the photographer for UGK. A lot of people don't know. That's okay. Mom. Was Titus? Was that the guy that looked like Scotty Pippen? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. I didn't know him. Yeah. yeah. I kind of remember. But I said he looked like Scotty Pippen. So okay. That's, yeah. Got that's you, my uncle, you, one of the you. you know underground fathers of UGK. Right. So a lot of people didn't know. I never told nobody. You know right. What I'm saying? It right. Wasn't, you know, business to say. Right. Uh, but uh, they told me one day uh, he came pick me up. He said, "Look, man, Diddy's coming to Houston." He say you gotta be in Houston and you go audition. I didn't want to right. audition, you know. Right, right, right. Because I felt being an independent artist was better. Right, yeah, you know, yeah. Once we auditioned, uh, I made it to the top 50, but the contracts wasn't suitable for me. Right, okay. It was okay. like 100 grand split amongst the group between okay. the people. And okay. at the time, yeah, I was making 20. money. You know okay. what I'm saying? So okay. I didn't need that money like that. But what I did, I to do the exclusive record. Is, okay, is that, oh, I'm sorry to bother, is, yeah. that, is that what we call a 360 deal or is that something completely yeah. different yeah. than yeah. A, 360 yeah. a 360 deal? deal? Okay, tell me, tell us tell us what is a 360 deal for some that don't know. I, I kind of have a little idea, but I don't really know definition what 360 so, deal what 360 is. 360 deal is, uh, you know, with 360 degrees, it come right back around. Absolutely. You know, uh, so with 360 deal, you got no matter what you do, your your money, if they give you advance, that has to be recouped. Right. So it's like a back. I remember talking to DJ DMD a while back. Yeah. He had said something like, like it's like a bank, right? The, the record is like a bank alone. Okay. It's alone. So Sapiens is uh we want to get you dressed up, right? So real talk, we want to get y'all dressed up. We're gonna put the clothes on you, we're gonna buy you the limousines, we gonna, you know, order you all your food. They ain't gonna tell you that while right. you're doing it. They gonna fund it right then and now. Right. But once your album sales come in, everything that you have made in debt, the expenses, you gotta right. pay back first. Right. That first has to get paid back. Absolutely. So you got your managers, your uh, right. promotion, all that have to get their cut. Right. Production. Then on they the gotta album. recoup that money. Right. right. And then you have to fulfill your deal loan what they gave. Right. So right. then after that you get paid. So 360 dealers, they get paid on your uh, promotion, they get paid on your publishing, mm. they get paid on shows. Right. So pretty much everything is like a boomerang to come right back around. Okay, so they have like a, uh, a dip in everything that you're doing. Yeah. And yeah. which which is not bad. It's not bad. If you're un, if you're an unknown artist, exactly. right? If you're if not you, making any money, you're, you're not unknown, independent. You know what I'm saying? And they have to put into you to get you to that point, then it's not bad. You know? Right. But if right. you're already established and you know what you're doing, then that's when it becomes bad. If you're already established artist and you own your masters and everything, then that's when it becomes a bad thing. Right, right. So so um so is it kinda like saying that's why you have issues like with Meg the Stallion? And her record label, I'm not sure if her deal was a 360 deal, but back then it was she was an unknown artist maybe. To, then she kind of rose quickly where she grew yeah. out of her contract and it would be something, it would be more advantageous to her to renegotiate. Is, am I saying it kind of right? Does that sound uh, kind of? No, no, I so, mean, that's that's right. Uh, with that, it's, that's a touchy situation. Right, With right. Megan Thee Stallion, you know what I'm saying? I don't agree with everything that was done with that situation. Right, right. Because Carl put a lot of money. Yeah, right, absolutely. That's what, yeah, right. Carl put his money into that. You know, but at the same time, she had hit records that made that money back. Right, absolutely. So that's just like a label. If I sign to you for, let's say, 100 grand, right? You give me 100 grand to do this album. And I do this album and I make that money back. I fulfilled my deal with you. Right, absolutely. Now we have to renegotiate. Either I can renegotiate, come back with you, or I'm free to go. Oh, absolutely. You absolutely. know, and there's some artists that do that. They may sign a deal. What's up, bro? Already, baby. Put it out there, Put it out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Much love. So getting back to it, uh, some people will uh Let's say I sign a deal, an album deal for, for five albums. Right, absolutely. Some people can go in and give you the five albums in one year. Right, right, right. Here you go, this your five albums, whatever you're making, 
that's on you. I'm gone. I fulfilled my deal. Right. But some people may take a longer time. Some Absolutely. people may not get those albums in in those like a five album deal for five years. Right. Some people may take them ten years to do five albums. So now you're rolling into another contract, but you haven't fulfilled your first album. Okay. That's how a lot of people get in debt. Oh, okay, okay. So it's taking a long time to put out the albums, and then hey, well. Well, you had five albums, you're taking 10 years. That five albums probably may have been, what, five or six? I'm just giving out numbers. Yeah. And okay, well, you kind of take it long. Now it's time to do another contract, the time frame, but now you didn't you. actually gave the albums over here. Now you're screwed. Okay. Now you got okay. you. So with okay. Megan and Style, you know, I think with them, it was just more so of uh, Carl built her up to where she needed to be. Right. You know, and then once she got to where she wanted to be, uh, you got a lot of vultures in this game. Right, yeah, absolutely. You got people that see potential. Mm -hmm. So they seen potential, Jay-Z, Rock Nation. Mm -hmm. They knew the potential that she had, and who wouldn't want to sign with Jay-Z with the reputation that he had? Right, You know right. what I'm saying? You can be with Carl, that's a formerly known baseball player that don't know the music industry, mm -hmm. or you can get with a music guru, guru like Jay-Z. Oh, right. And I mean, is she wrong? Is she right? Right, absolutely. You know, who, absolutely. who knows? You know what absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and change on that. Change on that subject because you have a lot of connected people up in there like Jay Z and you have Jay Prince up on. Have, it's kind of connected with that issue, yeah, so you yeah, know. Yeah, so that, yeah, I'm that's what I said. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna try to, you know, touch the situation. I'm gonna try to move off that subject. Now, I caught you on the New Jacks radio show with E3 the Beast yes, over sir. there in New York. Shout out to uh, E3, man. Yeah, shout out to E3, uh, uh, Edmund Johnson. So, uh, so um, you was telling me some of the you had. I remember looking at that interview. You had some coaches that you had to deal with a little bit. Can oh, yeah. you kind of tell us about some of the hardships that you've met coming in the music game or not? I remember you were saying something about some vultures, some people, you know, conniving or whatever. But go ahead on, so, so I'm well, not rambling. So go ahead and tell me some of the, the problems that you've dealt with yourself in the music industry. I mean, to be, I ran I ran into my problems early, right off okay. the bat. Uh, from a small town, you know what I'm saying, from Port Arthur, we really didn't know paperwork. We really didn't know the business of music. We right. knew music, but we didn't know the business of music. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's music business. Right, a lot of absolutely. times we like to do the music, but we don't want to do the business. So absolutely. I signed with uh, P. Diddy, right? Signed a contract. I thought it was one year. When I went and got it with my lawyers, it wow. was one option seven. Okay. So he had the option to hold me one year, seven years. Oh, okay. So it was an option. So if, let me go ahead and just try to recap it. So if you did well in one year, he could probably keep you up to seven years. But if you didn't do well, he could he let you go. He can let you go if he, yeah. the option was up to him, right? So it worked in his benefit. Uh, and, you know, fortunately, I went on the right songs. You know, I wasn't thinking. At the time, I had two songs that were on the radio that I wrote, and my wages were garnished because I was signed to him. So I was still signed to him, and I had to fulfill a deal with him. So they got to keep all my royalties for the last, for the first seven years. From 2007 to 2014, my wages were garnished. Wow. So that's why a lot of, uh, when you look, I had to change my name, you know? I went from Benzo, you know, to where I had to incorporate my real name, Benjamin Thomas Benzo. Oh, okay, so. So like Prince, like Prince Okay, all oh, this formerly known. Okay, so you actually changed your name from Benzo to uh, Benjamin Thomas Benzo. Yeah, I just I okay. just, I just, put my, my real name in. So people still call you Benzo, but just for the legal and business purposes. Okay. Okay, yeah, go ahead and take we'll it on easy. Photo. We'll be right back, y'all. Good seeing you, appreciate it. There it is, they're doing a good, they're, going, they're doing a group pitch on the Real Talk Files. That was a very good, informative, impromptu music session on one of our Port Arthur stars, Benjamin Thomas. And uh, show to appreciate out him coming out here and giving us that interview and, um, <clears throat> and, and kind of giving us a game and giving us a little insight on his issues that he was going through. And uh, there to go over there for level of the Real Talk Files, taking a good pitch on there. That's a good, good, beautiful thing. Hey, 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 sometimes they call us ambulance chasers, but we trying to come out here and give you and give you an actually a good <clears throat> trying to give you a good show, trying to give you some good things what's going on with the city, what people are doing that we know sometimes. Sometimes we don't know everything. We, you know, we want to get there. You know, we have our own lives that we have to do also. So I'm, um, I'm glad we was able to come out here to catch this out here, Mr. Kelly. Uh, I'm glad we came to come out here with you know, doing a scene with him and his wife doing 
we had a good interview with Benzo on here. Hey, everything was, you know, uh, lovely, great, having a good time. You see Lynn, see Lynn Freeman act like he, he don't have a show going on right now. He act like I'm the host of the show. He act like I'm the main host. He over here talking to uh, the Honorable Reginald Trainer doing his thing. What's going on? What's going on, huh? TT! About it doing anything. What's going on? Oh, well, okay, go ahead. Give me, right, give me a little thing right here. You're on the real talk files. Yeah, go ahead on here. What's your name? His brother out here. He wants to go kind of uh, give us a little information about his business. Go ahead on there and speak, brother. Uh, I'm from New York. I've been in Texas for the last three years. Uh, I wanted to promote myself. I do air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, handyman services. So if y'all need it. Okay, go ahead. Give us, give us your information. Tell the people on here what's your information. What's your uh, na name, number, uh, name email? Rashad. Okay, let me put the uh, the information right up here, like it's AC the doctor. If y'all kind of go ahead and see that, check it out. Him, that's it. No problem. Yeah, you appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh yes, sir. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate you. Here, here we are again. Real talk files. Look like it's where you still have a few calls coming through. Everything's still going. You think I'm gonna say people kill my daughters? Real talk files. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I'm have to get with Lynn Freeman. I'm gonna have to get with Lynn Freeman and Reginald Trainer. Since I didn't do since since I didn't do the show like I was supposed to Friday, I wanna get with uh training and Lynn Freeman to try to do another show. They had a, a lot of information I wanted to talk about with this um with this new Confederate statue that's coming down here. <clears throat> with a Confederate statue, a few things over in this in the, uh, the, the news. The newspaper wanted to kind of talk about kind of fact checks and things on there. So I might, I'm going to try to have to see when we can do a, a good little quick show. Uh, saying that we have time, saying we have other little job issues that may come up. But uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna try to go ahead and try to get get that date in and, and having Retro Train to be a good it'll be a good show. So um so yeah we we could try to get something going on. But yeah, that's what I got that's what I got planned. Try to get a good show with Retro Train and kind of like a little two person well two or three person talk we may do it. Me, trainer, and uh Lynn. So you know yes, sir. I wanna tell him that gonna be on the show. Okay, yes sir, yes sir. Yeah, have Reggie Trainer. He's going to be on the show, brother. Tell us what you're about to be on. Y'all was talking over there for about, about two hours and stuff well, like that. We, well, we're we, we going to be on the two Monday at good. 12, 12 good, and 12 o'clock. Good, good, you know, good. we got Black Lives Matter. You know, I'm yeah. just, uh, the chairman of the Chief Parochial Advisory Group. Right. It's time for us to speak up. It's time for you to hear what's going on inside and outside of the police station. It's time for you to hear what's going on inside and outside of the city. I'll be there and I'll be available for questions. Okay. You will get questions. Okay, what's, what are you, okay, so those are the topics that you're going to be speaking on, the Black Lives Matter, everything has been going on. And uh, y'all going to talk about the, um, the uh, what you call it, the uh, that statue that's supposed to be coming down here from Houston? Or are you going to save that to another? Or? Well, actually, I'm not here to talk about the statue. Okay, I'll talk I'm also about it. I'm okay. talk about the crime. And, okay. Uh, talk about what's going on in our city. Right, as far as with the policing, with the direct with police. policing. Okay. I got some narratives that I will be uh, presenting to the police uh, uh, probably Monday. Okay. Right okay. after I leave this here, I think we have our meeting. Right. And uh, we'll get together. And I've uh, got some concerns from the citizens. And we want to know what the police is going to do for the city of Fort Arthur. If gang violence or whatever starts here, we want to know if we prepare to handle it. Thank because you. everything here Thank has you. been default. You want to keep it Thank you. Okay, 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 cool. Sure to appreciate. We'll be looking at that Monday at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Monday at 12 o'clock in the Real Talk Files Radio. Hey, um, yeah, it sounds like a winner right there. You have anything else you want to say or? 
No, this is on the keep it real. Okay, real yeah. talk. That's what we try to do. This is the real talk files. It looks like everybody's trying to is uh kind of closing down or whatnot. So about to get with Lynn Freeman see if you want to uh videotape the the, the, the the cleanup crew or what do you want to do right no, now? No, we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with the cleanup. That's my point, man. If I need to be, yeah, I got the key, I got to go for it. But look here. I got to thank everybody. Y'all know how Lynn Bruce do it. I thank everybody when I started, when I finished. I want to thank Reginald Trainer. Reginald Trainer is just not anybody with me. And he'll tell you that he's going to tell you money. He's not just anybody with me. He's one of these people that if I call him, he's coming. If I need something, he's going to give it to me. And he's been like that. Don't say, this not stuff just started because I didn't have this program. He's been doing this here before all the time. He's been like that with me. He tells me the truth. And if he and 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 and, and, and if he uh um, and if he'll 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 tell us. I want I want him I want him to I want I want I want, I want him to end it. He'll tell <laughs> Real he'll talk, Files. I want to let him kill it. Talk. He's talking to the customers, man. He got to talking to the customers. Okay. Now this is what this Wait is on. what I'm doing. I want I want I want to make sure they, they had a tremendous day. They gave out everything, and he's. What you got? You gonna end it? He says, he's right. actually gonna want you to end it up. Well, I want to thank everybody for uh, you know, watching and, and, and you know, giving us your time and attention. Look, y'all, we all in this thing together called COVID-19. We all in this civil rights struggle together. Uh, we all know how that's going right now. It's a lot of stress. A lot of people, we are locked in in our homes because of COVID-19. But remember this, we love you guys. Kelly Kitchen, Hi. the Community Empowerment Development Association. We do it the best that we can to serve the community, to show you how much we love you guys, to let you know that you're not alone. It's a lonely time right now. We're not used to being in our silos. I like to go out and swing out. Right. I haven't been able to swing out in a long Man, time. can't swing out. But look Man. here, I'm ready to do that, y'all, but yet we got to stay safe till this thing blows over. Remember that. But at the same time, love your brother, love your neighbor, love your sister, love everybody, y'all, and that's what it's about. We care about you guys, and we're in it together, and, <clears throat> and that's what we wanted to show. So we got to continue this two more weeks, and uh, y'all stay strong, all right? Yes, sir. Peace. Appreciate it again, and keep, keep doing what you're doing for uh, the citizens, sir. I'm going to do it. Thank you guys for coming out and filming us here. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for putting all this on. You're welcome. And so that's again, hey, it's another talk with the real talk come. files. Hilton Keller and ended out. Appreciate you, sir. Take it easy. Y'all got it. And, uh, all right, boy, give me you. some ice cold water. I'm thirsty. I know that's right. My mouth dry, everything else. <laughs> I, know that's I, right. I, want, I really want to thank him because, you know, he, he, he looks out for me and he's been asking. He's been looking out for me for how many years? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, quite okay. a few. Yeah, me, me and him, man. So, so if I call him and say, hey, man, I want y'all here. I want, I want y'all to, I want to do an interview with you. Yeah. Please, please, please let me know when you have time. Okay. Please let me know when it's here. Will do. Yeah. yeah. Just give me time. I'm, 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 you know, I'm at Lynn Bruce for you. All right. On my page. Invite me. Tell me you have time. Please, you know, sit down and have dinner. We're we going to do that. Probably by next week, we'll do That's it. What I need. All right. Thank y'all. I need you. I need you. Okay. Next week. We're about to wrap it up. Okay. Because okay. we're supposed to wrap it up, too. <laughs> and uh, come on over here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on today. Come on. No, no, it's for you. Oh, okay. Just for you. This is for you. Now you can end it. End the day. Go ahead. Come on. Hey! I say appreciate y'all coming on here. Let's talk to the real tough files. You know, I'm over here uh, trying to give my support to Lynn Bruce Freeman and everything. We have citizens over here hollering, hollering everything, driving up. So, glad it's a good turn. I like everybody had fun. Appreciate it. You can also check out a lot of my political views and political ideology on PA Politics 3, the Facebook PA Politics 3. Or you can go ahead and add friends, David Jones, and uh, and that's pretty much it. That's all I have for Real Talk Files. Y'all go ahead and take it. Appreciate y'all enjoying the viewers. Do your thing. Y'all can't stop. Real Talk Files. Yes, sir. He's talking like that. Just sit down. I'm going to Real Talk Files about to shut it down. Everybody shut it down. Took off the tent. Put the chairs in. What you got? Like it may be a wrap. How you doing? Yeah, I'm about to, I'm going to go ahead and kill it out. Oh, they, 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 they gave them all out. Got their license. Yeah, so. like they held up to the more time on it than I did. Because yeah. they're used to post it sometimes. Real I Talk files. Uh oh, no. Yeah. There we go. What a, what a kill. Cut off. Cut off Real Talk. See, I don't really go live on mine too much. Yeah, no. I don't really go live. Hey, yeah. come, come cut this joke off. Come stop this live. I don't really go live.